Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about dynamic machine techniques of ANSYS Fluent and their application limitation. So there are some information in Fluent uh, user guide, uh, but it's time consuming to read all of them. So I try to summarize the key points in this presentation. Uh, so let's uh, get to it. And there are three dynamic machine techniques, namely layering, smoothing and remeshing. And we usually use dynamic machine when we have a solid object in flow domain, uh, which is moved uh, by a prescribed motion or under hydro hydrodynamic forces. So the first technique is called layering, which is basically used for a linear motion, like a piston in a cylinder. And the restriction would be the mesh type should be or has to be a quad in 2D and hexahedral in 3D. So you cannot use it for any other kind of mesh and you know that's a limitation of this technique if you want to learn more about it there are more information in chapter 11 of ansys and user guide but basically when you have a moving boundary for example in this case if this wall is moving upward uh, we've got this first layer of mesh so as this wall moves the height of this yeah, layer decreases and depending on the mesh setting uh, it's going to collapse when it reaches a certain height and then uh, it goes to the second layer and it's going to repeat the same uh, algorithm for that. So it's going to collapse layer by layer. But if this uh, boundary is moving downward, it's going to basically create a, a new cell depending on you know how far is it from this cell. Uh, so the details are provided in that user guide but one thing which is not covered in tutorial uh, you know fully and the explanation is not enough it's when you got a, a object which is located inside the fluid so when this boundary is moving there is an interface between uh, moving zone and a stationary zone and you have to cre create an interface and to do that you have to partition your geometry and create uh, and do some geometry work to create that interface so and i created a video explaining this for a simple geometry and i'm gonna put it in the description uh, uh, right below this uh, video so let's move to the next technique which is called the smoothing and it's used during a boundary motion when fluid in general shape does not change uh, and the number of nodes remain constant. So in this picture, I explain what it means. Basically, it means that uh, the cylindrical shape does not change, but the distance between nodes, you know, changes. It's like a spring, which, you know, uh, the physical element does not change, but the distance is changed. And as far as no, there is no restriction uh, regards of uh, type of mesh, but it's usually used along with remeshing. And there are some good video tutorials, you know, uh, by ANSYS, which are available in YouTube. And I'm going to put the link here in the description below. So, and let's move to the last meshing technique, which is called remeshing. And basically, it's a branch of smoothing. Uh, but the issue with the smoothing is when you have a large displacement, it's going to fail and the remeshing enables the fluent to remesh zones with low quality locally and it only applies to tetrahedral in 3d and triangular in 2d meshes so you know that's a restriction you you need to consider and again there are good video tutorial how to set up a you know remeshing technique and i'm gonna put it down there thank you for watching and please uh, leave me any comment and questions